Hey, what's up gunslingers? Welcome back to the Pistols O'Brien channel. Today I've decided to do something a little bit different than my previous videos. Recently, LeBron James and his production company announced that after years of speculation and rumors, they're actually going to be making a sequel to the 1996 movie Space Jam. So I got to thinking to myself, what would a modern Space Jam movie actually look like? Now the first thing I did was, as you probably saw at the beginning of this video, I redesigned the logo for the Toon Squad, which was the name of the basketball team that was led by Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan in the original film. I wanted to keep the same kind of look for the logo, with the same colors and the same general idea of it, but I decided to change it just enough to look a little different, but still have the same kind of quality to it. I skewed the circles in the background of the logo so that it wasn't just a straight on series of concentric circles. For the font of the logo, I was actually inspired by one of the last truly great basketball video games in my opinion, NBA Street, um, specifically NBA Street Volume 2. But the logo for that had a kind of a graffiti type look, and I decided to go with a graffiti style for the Toon Squad logo, purely as an aesthetic choice, just like I said, I was inspired by that game, NBA Street Volume 2. Then I did something that I don't typically do very often, I decided to try and capture the likeness of a real person, in this case being LeBron James himself. Now for the pose itself, I took an image of LeBron James where he was making a kind of a goofy face and used that for the actual pose, but then I found another picture of LeBron where he wasn't making that face and used the head from that one. So it was actually a combination of two different images to get the reference in order to make the pose. Now the second character I tried to portray for this image was Lola Bunny. If you remember, in the original Space Jam, she was introduced as the counterpart and love interest for Bugs Bunny. Now in doing research for this image, I read that when she was created, they created her as the female merchandising counterpart. Now the term merchandising counterpart to me screams that they essentially made her in order to sell toys. And I decided that with my version of the character, I wanted her to look like more of a fleshed out character. I gave her more of an athletic look because in the first film, she surprises everyone by being very good at basketball. It's funny, she's actually proven to be a very popular character. After Space Jam, she's appeared in various other Looney Tunes shows, particularly The Looney Tunes Show and New Looney Tunes. Versions of her appeared in Baby Looney Tunes, which was obviously a much younger version of the character, and also in the cartoon that I don't believe was very well received, Lunatics Unleashed, but that version of her was her descendant Lexi Bunny, and not Lola Bunny herself. 
As I said, I wanted to make her more of a fully fleshed out character, and I gave her a more athletic look to kind of emphasize that. I also gave her the same uniform that the rest of the team would have, rather than the overly sexualized version from the original Space Jam movie. This is more in line with the way they've depicted her in her appearances after the original Space Jam, particularly in the Looney Tunes show when she was completely redesigned. Let me know in the comments what you think of my design for Lola Bunny. Do you like her original look better, or do you like this design that I've created? Now last, but certainly not least, I thought to myself, I couldn't have Lola Bunny without her main squeeze, Bugs Bunny. Obviously he's one of the most iconic cartoon characters in history, and I wanted to try and do him justice in my style, but also keep it very similar to the original style as well. Now I had to give him his iconic carrot, holding it in a pose very similar to how someone would hold a cigar which I think was kind of the original idea behind Bugs' carrot, but I wanted to lean into that a little bit, which is why I had the green leaf part of the carrot pointing up, kind of mimicking cigar smoke. I wanted to make it very subtle so that just looking at it, it wouldn't necessarily stick out, but if you know it's there, that it was intended to kind of mimic that. Now, similar with my design for Lola, I decided to give this version of Bugs Bunny a more athletic look. Again, because him being on a basketball team, um, I gave him more of a muscular upper body than he normally has in the cartoons, but very much in line with my more comic book style. Again, I gave him the same kind of uniform that both LeBron James and Lola Bunny are wearing in their respective images. The uniform is closer to a modern style NBA uniform when compared to the original movie. Now just like with Lola Bunny, let me know in the comments what you think of this design for Bugs Bunny, and let me know overall what you think of my designs for these three characters.
Now, as we come to the end of this video, I wanted to give you a look back at all three characters, starting with LeBron James, then going into Lola Bunny, then Bugs Bunny, and then a look at the three characters together in a single image. That's all I have for this video today. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I try to post new videos every week. I don't have a set day yet, but I'm working on trying to make my posting schedule much more consistent. Thanks again, gunslingers, and until next time, take care of yourselves.